Hey, my name is Hannah Weiss. I'm the Education Manager at the Science Museum of Western Virginia, and this is your Moment of STEM. Now, this week's Moment of STEM might be up a little late because, well, turns out equipment checks are a thing you should do. We did record one last night, but we've had to redo it. So now we're recording it with me with no caffeine. Ready? Let's go. So this week, we thought we'd talk about volcanoes because they've been in the news an awful lot because there's a volcano that's currently erupting right now in Hawaii. That's right, Kilauea is erupting, and yesterday it had a really cool explosive event. But when it first hit the news a few weeks ago, or maybe even earlier this week, still not super sure on time, <laughs> um, I was reading about it and I got really excited, but I also found out that I don't know too much about volcanoes. You see, when I think about volcanoes, I'm mostly thinking about what we usually think of as volcanoes, uh, like the eruption at Mount St. Helens, the huge cone-shaped volcanoes that explode and spew lava everywhere. Well, it turns out that the Hawaiian volcanoes aren't really like that. So for one thing, the eruption at Kilauea has been going on longer than I've been alive. It started erupting in about 1983, and recently a whole bunch of new fissures opened. However, those fissures are pretty characteristic of Hawaiian eruptions. In fact, those volcanoes erupt in such a special way, they have their own name. They're, they're called Hawaiian eruptions. But these volcanoes are also different from some of the volcanoes you might be thinking of, because Hawaii is not actually on the Ring of Fire. Now, now that I think about that, that's probably something I should have known. See, the Ring of Fire is here, and Hawaii way over here, not at all near it. Those are actually hotspot volcanoes. And when they erupt, they have these, uh, they call them effusive eruptions. It means the lava kind of flows or oozes out of the volcanoes. But when I was doing research about Kilauea, I also did some research about a bunch of other volcanoes. And turns out the United States has tons of them. And I'm, I'm not just talking about Hawaii or Alaska or, or California or Yellowstone. Turns out the United States has volcanoes in some pretty weird places, like Idaho and Mississippi and Virginia. That's right, right here in Virginia where I'm recording, I'm pretty close to two volcanoes. And they're pretty young ones too. Now, there being volcanoes in Virginia doesn't mean they're about to explode. They're probably extinct or dormant. However, just the fact that I'm super close to them is really cool. I'm Hannah Weiss from the Science Museum of Western Virginia, and I'm a lot closer to volcanoes than I would have thought.